All right. Hey guys, Lord Stompy here. How are you doing? All right, I'm a harmonica teacher here in South Australia. I run a group called Harmonica Tribe, and we meet every Monday night at the Governor Highmarsh Hotel, and we get together, have a few drinks, make merry, and we play harmonica. We've got some videos up here on YouTube if you want to check them out, but in the meantime, I'm here to teach you your first lesson on harmonica because I believe this is one of the most underrated instruments in the world. It's actually quite easy to play once you get the basics down. So the very first thing you need to do is get a 10-hole blues harmonica. See, just like this one here. Now, I'm playing a Hona Golden Melody. Uh, they're a reasonably good harmonica. Most harmonicas that Hona do are reasonably good, so when you're a beginner, you want to get a harmonica in the key of C is the standard key, especially for this lesson, because <laughs> I'm playing in the key of C, so you want to be in tune with me. Now, here's a few brands of harmonica that, as a beginner, you should get, because you don't want to get anything too cheap, because uh, very cheap harmonicas are hard to play, and it will be hard for you as a beginner <clears throat> to make any serious headway playing a very poor quality harmonica. So you probably want to get a, a Hona Special 20. A very good budget harmonica is a Suzuki Folkmaster. Those ones are great value for money. They're about $20. Um, also, uh, the Lee Oscar by Tombow. Uh, they're general, generally reasonable beginners harmonicas. Now you don't want to go too high market on your harmonicas unless you've got a lot of money to burn. Now there's much more expensive harmonicas. Uh, some of the Seidel harmonicas you're paying $140 up. Now when you're a beginner harmonica player uh, most beginners tend to be a little bit heavy on the breathing so they they tend to wear their harmonicas out pretty quick. So if you get a cheaper harmonica, uh, it's better when you're a beginner because uh, most likely in the first six months to a year, you're going to wear your harmonicas out pretty fast. But I'm here to teach you how to not do that. So let's get down to business. Now, the first thing you want to do before you even put it in your mouth is have a good grip in your hand. So what you do is you put your harmonica in your left hand, just like that. Uh, see the side of the harmonica is right against there. And um, what you actually do is you have a fair bit of harmonica poking out. Uh, you don't have it uh, only a tiny amount because what you want to do is put the harmonica quite deeply into your mouth. This will help you get a much better tone and much better control. Uh, if you if you can only put a tiny amount of your lip on there because because you've um, blocked the holes off with your hand, um, you have a very weak tone. So most people will do this in their left hand. Uh, there's occasional players who do it with their right hand, or very rare players who do it upside down. Now, just a little bit about my grip. My grip's completely different, um, but I'll go into that in another video. This is a great beginner's grip. So, the second thing you do uh, is you want some lubrication because the, these things stick to your lips when you're playing. And um, so what you have to do is lick your lips, and uh, often I lick the harmonica as well. The third thing, you don't want to have just eaten food or uh, drank a fizzy drink like a, a soda drink. Uh, even beer, stuff like that's not too good. So you've licked your lips, uh, you've got your hand grip. Um, you rest your arm and your elbow nice and, uh, nice and relaxed by your side. Uh, it's not a good idea to have your elbow up like that because then you just using a lot of muscle and putting in a lot of work 
that you don't need to do. So uh, all the muscle is... Uh, It's really just in your wrist and you want to have that nice sort of limp wrist kind of style and um, so what we're going to have you doing at the very start is uh, as a beginner you're generally uh, going to learn to play on the lower holes uh, note six and below the you'll find very quickly that the higher notes uh, are a lot tighter uh, they tend to be a lot harder to play for most beginners. Now, what I'm going to get you to do is um, play three notes to start with, and uh, this will uh, really get you going down the bottom end. So, uh, when you're a rank beginner, um, a good way to find your way around harmonica is to use use your tongue. Uh, you put your tongue in hole one and you count three holes up and uh, then you find your note and what you want to do is you want to play a single note nice and clean so you've got your hand grip you've lit licked your lips and you want to play three blow nice and clean and you want to play three draw so three blow And to get that um, single note, you'll notice it's a, most beginners will find this quite hard at first. So uh, you've got to practice what's called embouchure. Now embouchure means uh, the way you hold your mouth. Uh, the best way I can describe this is to get a very focused, uh, tiny, small mouth hole because the, obviously the harmonica holes are very small. So uh, you want to pretend you're breathing through a straw or a pea shooter. Now, when you're a total beginner, uh, this seems very hard. And you'll also notice that after a few minutes of trying to do it, it will make your lips very tired. Now, believe it or not, within a week or two of practice, uh, your lips will get used to this. And um, you, you'll toughen up. You know, what's the aim of harmonica playing is to get nice, tough lips. The other thing you will notice uh, as a beginner is you know, your lips will possibly get a little bit chapped. Uh, this is quite normal and after a long time of playing like me you will end up with calluses that are about three centimeters thick <laughs> and your girlfriend will absolutely hate kissing you. No, I'm just joking about that part. But uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, count up with our tongue. We'll find note three. And... So that's blow, and then we're going to play draw. Now, before you play three draw, there's one more special thing I need to tell you. When you're a beginning beginner player, uh, quite often. Beginners find uh, the notes uh, two draw and three draw, uh, they tend to stick or they tend to not play properly or they sound, they sound very laboured. Now, there's a little trick to getting your playing sounding awesome is what you've got to do is open up your throat at the back, drop your tongue at the back You've got to imagine that a, a doctor is putting the tongue depressor on the back of your tongue and you're saying, ah, so you say, ah, and then put the harmonica in your mouth and play three draw while saying, ah, and uh, breathe very gently too. This is very important with uh, beginners. No sudden puffs of air in or out. Um, and just steady, gentle breathing. So, okay, once you've got that sounding good, 
what you're ready to do now is um, bring up your cupping hand, which is usually your right hand. And uh, this hand, uh, you'll notice the way I'm holding it here, is um, it me merely rests. Uh, this hand is in control of movement, and this hand just kind of rests. And what you do with this cupping hand is you try to get the most airtight seal that you can on your harmonica. The more airtight this seal is, the better the cupping sound will be. And you'll get this kind of wah sound when you play. So... Okay, so that's what your right hand's for. Now, you'll notice that I'm being very gentle and relaxed with this, and it's, I'm merely opening up my fingers. Uh, maybe a little, a little bit of a hinging motion there. So, um, you know, you're not putting your arm... You're not moving your arm or your wrist at all. That's uh, moving too many muscles. So what we're trying to do is be as relaxed as possible, uh, use as few muscles as possible, because that makes you like super cool and super relaxed, and it makes playing so much easier. So, okay, we're going to start again. We've got a lot of harmonica poking out. We're kind of getting that yawn, that R. And we're going to play our first riff. So this riff is going to sound like this. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, so you'll notice on the screen there was what we call tablature, and that was showing you the exact notes that I was doing. Now you'll notice when I went between uh, the three draw and the four draw and back again, that I, um, what's the word, I, I didn't stop uh, breathing. I. I kept my breath going smoothly. I didn't do this. Because when you're playing harmonica, the idea is to get smooth playing uh, when you're a beginner anyway. So if you're doing a, a blow note or a draw note and you're sliding up to another blow or draw note, uh, if you keep your breath going with the same gentle intensity, it it just sounds much better. It's uh... so you see, I slid from uh, the three draw up to the five draw, and what was happening there was I was getting that little bit of a passing note of the four draw that there's that bit of a hint of a four draw in there and that that really adds to the character of a especially blues harmonica playing and one last thing, just before I go, is uh, while you're playing, um, to help with your airflow over time, to help with your breathing, there is one trick that all intermediate harmonica players develop, and I'll give you a special lesson on this on its own, but what you actually do to stop... Uh, running out of air or uh, filling up with too much air is while you're playing you actually um, uh, simultaneously you learn to breathe in and out uh, through your nose 
on selected notes with harmonicas. So uh, what I want you to try and do right now is play the three draw again and then the three blow and at the at the same time as you're getting the gentle note um, that's nice and stable, uh, you're just getting the, the note all being the same intensity, is let some oxygen in through your nose and then uh, let a little bit out. So that was me taking some pretty deep breaths in and out through my nose. And the other thing I can do is choose not to breathe in and out through my nose. And that way I can do very, very long extended notes. So I will go into a more specific lesson on this, but this is something to look out for. A lot of beginners say, hey, I'm running out of air. And it's like, well, uh, you know, if you're filling up with air when you play, when you play a blow note out, learn to let some of that air out through your nose while you're playing. If you're running out of air, when you play your next draw note in, then learn to breathe a little bit of oxygen through your nose in. Okay, I'm going to keep putting out lessons once a week. I'm glad you've tuned in. Uh, next week we're going to go into the fantastic world of train chugs. But until then, I will catch you later. Cheers and God bless.